Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a three pedal set from SimGrid. It's the SimGrid VX Pro. Now SimGrid are a company from Finland. These pedals are designed and manufactured in Finland. And when SimGrid reached out and said, Dave, do you want to try these pedals? I looked at them and I thought, yes, please. They're completely different to anything that I've used before. But before we get into the video, the necessary disclaimer, SimGrid sent me these pedals to test and use, so I haven't paid for them, although they don't see this video before you do, and they've got no input at all in relation to what I say. And I'll go on to say that I'm not affiliated with SimGrade in any way, shape, or form. There's no affiliate links, no kickbacks. I'm just going to give you my opinion as a semi-competitive sim racer. So when I get a product into test, I look at it as if I'm going to buy it with my own money. And usually in life, there's only four things that I'm really interested in. Firstly... How does it look? If it doesn't look right, I'm not going to buy it. Secondly, what's the build quality like? Thirdly, how does it perform? And finally, is it value for money? So this is a three pedal set made from stainless steel. And as you can see, it looks completely different from most other pedal sets on the market. The throttle has a 100 kilo load cell and the clutch and the brake are fitted with 200 kilo load cells. There are ball bearings on all of the pivot points. So in theory, it should be maintenance free so firstly we'll talk about how the pedals look now this topic is obviously very subjective we all like different things now i've said before that i like that stainless steel industrial look on a set of pedals and these are right up my street i really like the design but i don't know if that's also because they're completely different to anything i've used before but you're either going to love this style or you're going to hate it but even if you don't like the look of them when we talk about performance that might change your mind but we'll get to that very shortly. So build quality, absolutely perfect. There's no play in the pedals at all from side to side. Everything is really nice and tight and no noise, completely silent. And that's probably because how the pedals themselves work. Normally with a load cell pedal set, you're actually pushing onto the load cell. This uses roller bearings that actually roll across the surface to measure the pressure. So they are really really quiet i don't know if you can tell now but i'm slamming on the accelerator pedal like there's no noise same with the brake nothing clutch nothing silent that's because there's no metal to metal contact so build quality exceptional now we'll talk about performance now i should have had this video out probably a couple of weeks ago i've been testing these pedals for about three weeks but the truth of the matter is I just couldn't stop racing. So my view is that the best way to test a set of pedals is to race with them. Yes, I could have put them on the rig, done a load of hot laps and said, oh, these pedals are all right. But unless you're racing with them in the heat of battle, you don't know what they're like. I think that's a good indicator of how good a pedal set is or how bad a pedal set is. Now, in the last couple of weeks, any races that you've seen on my channel, I've been using these pedals. And I've purposely driven a variety of different cars. So cars with ABS like the Mazda MX-5, the Toyota GR86, the GT4s. And also cars with no ABS. The Porsche Cup car, the LMP3 and the Formula Ford. I've done races in the dry. I've done races in the wet. So I've pretty much thrown everything that you can throw at these pedals. And let me tell you, they have been amazing. And I'll tell you why. Now... Because the throttle is a load cell pedal, it's really, really smooth and really, really detailed. So when you need that finesse with the accelerator pedal, you've got it. Like, super smooth. You don't realise how good a throttle pedal can be until you test one. But I thought the throttle was excellent, but the brake pedal is unbelievable. So this is a two-stage brake, meaning that your brake to a point where you can feel resistance. So there's no more pedal travel, essentially. But that doesn't mean you can't brake anymore. You just calibrate the pedals to a point that you're happy with. So when I hit that first stage of braking, I'm at around 80, 90%, which is perfect if you don't want to lock the tires or activate the ABS. But if you do need that extra bit of braking, you can just squeeze the pedal a little bit more. And if you're progressive with the brake, there's no reason why you can't go up to 100%. As long as you apply it smoothly, you can then just keep squeezing and squeezing. And a clutch pedal is a clutch pedal. Although this does have a nice little step 
to replicate a bite point. But again, really silent. So these performed way better than I thought they would. Really easy to just find that threshold breaking and hold it and maintain it. And because it's so detailed, you can just bleed off the brake all the way to the apex. And cars such as the GT4 at Barber Motorsports Park, which I've been racing quite a bit this week, that circuit is all about trail braking. GT4, very much a momentum car. So it's all about keeping that corner speed up and controlling the rotation of the car with the accelerator and brake. And I found these to be exceptional. Now these don't have a huge amount of adjustability, but they've got enough. So the foot plate can be adjusted up or down. The spring on each one of the pedals can be adjusted really easily. You just undo the lock and screw on the back of the pedal, unload the preload, and they can just move the spring into whichever position that you want. The further away the spring is, the more resistance that you're going to feel. And on the brake, if you move the spring all the way to the top, well, you're pretty much braking with a rock solid pedal. As for mounting, I've just mounted them straight to my aluminium profile rig. I didn't have a base plate to fit these ones, or I did, but another set of pedals is on those. And they're mounted up to my SimLab P1X Pro easily. Although it was a little bit fiddly to get the back bolts in, but you can tilt the pedals forward just to make that a little bit easier. And the three pedals just plug into a small controller box that just plugs into the PC with one USB. So the software won't come as a surprise to many. On the top left, you've got boxes where you can read the information from the pedals and write the information to the pedals. And here is where you can actually load and save your pedal configs. Here you can see the information from the pedals. So when I press them, you can see we've got the clutch on the top, brake in the middle and accelerator on the bottom. You've got your minimum and maximum values. Also, you can just click calibrate if you wanted to and calibrate them. So the brake pedal is a two stage brake. So when I hit the brake pedal, I can feel resistance at a particular point, which I've set in the software. So if I hit the pedal as if I'm braking for a heavy braking zone, that's where I get to roughly every single time. That's the first stage. And then if I wanted to, I can just squeeze the pedal to get that remaining 20 or so percent. Excellent. And here you can also set up your curves for your accelerator, brake and clutch. So finally, let's talk about price. So these prices are quoted from the website on the day of recording the video. So it's the end of March 2024. So for a two pedal set, the brake and the accelerator, you're looking at 300 and 99 euros for a three pedal set accelerator clutch and brake it's 547 euros that's plus tax and plus shipping if you only bought a two pedal set and wanted to buy a clutch down the line that's going to cost you 160 euros now of course with everything there are add-ons and when you start buying add-ons then things get a little bit more expensive so if you wanted to buy the tilt-in heel support that you can see in this clip that's going to cost you 63 euros so if you wanted to buy the heel stopper that sits in front of the pedals that's 28 euros if you wanted to buy the brake upgrade kit which consists of two springs a little bit softer than the yellow that's on there and two side plates that's going to cost you 39 euros and what that does essentially it puts the spring in a slightly different location if you can't get it just right so before you know it it all adds up and it turns into a very expensive set of pedals. But I don't particularly like using the moving heel plate. So that saves me 63 euros. The heel stopper's nice that sits in front, although I don't really need it. That would save me another 28 euros. The brake kit, well, the spring on there is perfectly fine. So I haven't even tried the brake kit. The brake as it is out the box for me is perfect and there's also a side support for the accelerator that's 23 euros i'm not really a fan of that i race in socks so i'd probably injure my toes and if you've got an aluminium profile rig then you don't need a base plate so in my opinion you don't need to spend the extra money to get the best out of these pedals i think they're brilliant right out the box so would i spend my hard earned money hard earned come on let's not be stupid would i spend my own money on these pedals absolutely 100 percent i would go as far as to say that this is the best brake pedal that i have 
ever felt. And bear in mind that Hoisingveld are a channel partner and I use their Hoisingveld Ultimate Plus on that rig over there. And I'm also partnered with Simlab. And since they released the Simlab XP1 pedals, I've always said that they are the best bang for buck pedals out there, but not anymore. I don't think these pedals can be beaten for the price. So I would 100% buy these pedals. Now, SimGrid might ask for these pedals back. After filming all the B-roll, I put them back on the rig and that's where they're gonna stay unless they tell me they want them back. But fingers crossed, they don't. So let's summarize, looks wise, very subjective. I like the look of these pedals. They look completely different to anything out there. Build quality, absolutely perfect. All of the pivot points are ball bearing, so there should be zero maintenance. Performance, they performed exceptionally well. And people say to me, why don't you criticize things more? There's nothing to criticize. Whatever pedal set you buy, if it's a load cell pedal set, they're gonna be good. Just some are better than others. And this is hands down one of the best pedal sets I've ever tried. Value for money, I think it's really good value for money. When you start adding things on, then things get expensive, but I don't think you need to in this case. If you don't use a clutch, a two pedal set for 399 euros, obviously, plus taxes and shipping. I think it's exceptional value. So I wanna say thank you to SimGrade for sending me out these pedals to have a look at and share with you guys. I'll leave a link down below in the video description. That's just a normal link, like I mentioned at the beginning. It's not an affiliate link, so I don't get any kickback. So if you like these pedals, buy them. If you don't like them, don't buy them. It really doesn't matter to me. But I'm a racer, you know what I'm all about, and I wouldn't have anything on the rig that I'm not happy with. And these are staying on there. Hopefully this video is of some use. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.